the end of my life. <laughs> Root beer. Shh. I think I'm a new handbag. I won't be able to fish. Alright, so we're back in Tampa, my parents' condo, and guess what we're gonna do? We're Whoa! gonna. You just missed it! A giant fish jumped out of the water! Wagwan world. Hey friends. Escape your workday and live nine to five with us. Today we want to know if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Leave your answers in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe because it really helps us out. Dad was not trying, was trying to get mom not to go shopping, but what happened mom? What did you do? Hmm? What did you just do? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> so we're looking for food and we're driving on the street and mom says, oh, there must be food in the food court and I look and it's the mall and so mom got her way and we're in the mall because it's raining outside <laughs> are you happy mama? yeah are you happy dada? no comment <laughs> <laughs> no comment <laughs> so I tried to put the camera in my pocket in my pants and then I realized that I'm wearing it inside. I've been wearing my shorts inside out all day. Yeah, so now I'm gonna have to go to the washroom and turn my shorts. I think I'm inside out. Oops, what do you, sorry guys. What do you think about that? I'm embarrassed. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't see, I didn't notice. <laughs> All right, so we're in Kohl's. Apparently we don't have Kohl's in Canada. And uh, mom is absolutely happy. Very happy. And where's dad right now? Sulking in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Your mom's like so happy to be shopping and your dad's like, <clears throat> and he's sitting in the car. And so right now we're just looking around, looking for a case for this <laughs> camera that we're using. Wait, wait, what do you think of my new handbag? I always have so much junk. <laughs> I can fit everything. And we have no. baby, I can use it as a diaper bag. No. How about we put the baby in it? <laughs> Alright, so we quickly got bored of shopping at Kohl's. And uh, so now we're going to look for mom and tell her that we're going to go to another store. Except, when you have a Filipino mom, it's hard to see them because they're shorter than the, the racks. Like, how do you find someone who's shorter than the racks? If you can't find Waldo, I mean, if you can't find mom, um, the next best thing is just to sit in the store. Find yeah. the furniture section. <laughs> Give it a try. Oh, uh, that's such an interesting chair, dude. It's pretty bouncy. Yeah. This is called Destination Dorm. Actually, I just want to take a nap. Me too. So, we finally found Mom in Kohl's. We walk outside to look for Dad, and what is he doing? <laughs> In this heat, he's sleeping. We totally want to honk the horn and like freak him out, but someone, one of us would get killed. We don't want to do that. <laughs> we don't want to kill anybody. So you honk the horn. No, 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 no. I'm chicken. See you guys, I'm chicken. <laughs> All right, so we're back in Tampa, my parents' condo, and guess what we're gonna do? We're oh, gonna. You just missed it. A giant fish jumped out of the water. Uh, you missed it. Aw, uh, man. Okay. Oh. Well. We're going fishing. I actually brought my fishing gear, some of my fishing gear from Canada. Here's my tackle box. The only thing is I have no idea what kind of fish are in salt water. I don't know my research. And uh, I don't even know if I have the right gear. Oh, no? What kind of fish was it? <laughs> yeah, I'm just happy to catch any kind of fish. Um, I just don't think I have the right stuff. I have bass, freshwater bass stuff. I don't have no salt water. I don't have any salt water gear. Oh, there's the beach over there. Oh, another fish just jumped. That's so cool. All right. Also, we're gonna keep an eye out for like shark <laughs> or uh, dolphins. We see a lot of dolphins out here. Stuck on the bridge. Yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> You're stuck on the bridge. <laughs> stuck on the bridge. All 
Alright, so I gave up on the fishing because quite frankly, I have no idea how to catch American fresh, I mean saltwater fish. I was using all these bass techniques for fresh water in Canada. And as we're leaving, because we're going to go to the beach and go swimming right now. Um, as we're leaving, there's this guy who, throw, who hears a fish jump, grabs a fishing net, like old time Bible he, time. He looked like one of Jesus' disciples, seriously. <laughs> yeah, he could have been like Peter or something. Yeah. And he throws it out and in one swoop catches, that was crazy. I'm going to go around here. Uh, that was crazy. Like he totally catches uh, a sheep head, was it? A sheep head. It was nuts. It had like crazy like dorsal fins. It's spiky. It looked like the evil version of Dory from Finding Nemo. The evil version. So tonight when I'm uploading this video for you guys to watch, I'm going to watch YouTube videos to tell me how to catch saltwater fish. <laughs> At least <laughs> where we are right here. And I'm gonna buy a book so I can read something while he fishes. What, are you, what book do you recommend? What do you mean? How are you gonna read it? I'm gonna download on my Kindle. Oh, you bought, you bought a Kindle? Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right, so after the fishing failed because I don't have actual gear for saltwater fish or bait, Sai and I are actually gonna go and uh, get some live shrimp, get some different hooks um, at the store before that. We're gonna throw the garbage out. So I can grab the keys. It's in my armpit. <laughs> la 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 la. Florida, Florida. The garbage dump is here. Ew, ew. There's like mosquitoes and it smells. It is gross. Oh, there's flies and everything. Dude. <laughs> Oh, it's in my feet. I got some of the water in my feet. Ew. Gross. Oh. Dude, that is nasty. I'm gonna get the last one. <coughs> <laughs> and it smells <coughs> disgusting. That dumpster, dumpster smelled so bad. It's disgusting to see all those flies and I could still feel how wet my toes are because it got wet in that nasty water. Oh, hopefully I don't get some sort of like, no, nah, I probably won't, <laughs> but that was nasty. So here we are at the Los Amigos Restaurante. Actually, no, we want to come here to bait and tackle, baby. Bait and tackle. I'm going to cry. Apparently, this happens once a year where there is no live shrimp anywhere. Apparently, everyone locally has run out of live shrimp or something about it's super hot something about the full moon that the suppliers were not able to give or provide as much shrimp and we're going back to Orlando today and I won't be able to fish and catch a fish in salt water I'm kidding <laughs> why are you so dramatic man you're dramatic I'm not dramatic I'm I just want you guys to feel like on the inside I am really disappointed so I'm trying to show you how sad what am I gonna do? What am I gonna, what am I gonna, I'm gonna have to catch shrimp myself. How about that? <laughs> That's hard. How about just lift up rocks and try to catch shrimp? <laughs> All right, we got distracted with the shrimp hunt because we're like, whoa, are these like houses? Is this one person's house? There's a cool marina to the left here. We need a beer. the end of my life. Why? 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 There was no shrimp. Oh. They're out of shrimp, like everywhere. Even at the marina? We looked, we couldn't find it. Oh. Now I'm drinking my worries away. With the root beer. Shh. My mom watches these. 